What's up you guys? Welcome back into the channel and today we are opening up more Hidden Fates. It's been a couple weeks since I've opened Hidden Fates. We've been going full steam ahead on Darkness Ablaze and today you guys we have a big Hidden Fates planned for you. We are opening up not one, not two, not three, but five of the Raichu tins for Hidden Fates you guys. this These are the tins I was going to open in my previous video but instead I opted to go with more Darkness Ablaze because if you guys watched my first video of Darkness Ablaze it did not pan out the way I was hoping. There wasn't a lot of hits so the last video I did I decided to open up more Darkness Ablaze Check it out. It's my last video I did. We opened up two of the Darkness Ablaze Elite Trainer boxes featuring the wonderful artwork of Eternatus. We also opened up some more of the double packs from Walmart, the packs that are a little more than $2 a pack. And if you guys missed it, if you guys did not catch my previous video, go check it out because there was some good and there was also a lot of fail on my part. We'll get to that in just a second. But in case you missed the good, guys, in my last video, we pulled the second Hyper rare ever on the channel, right there, a Butterfree VMAX full art hyper rare, only the second hyper rare pulled on the channel. And guys, this was an absolute amazing pull. I was very, very happy to pull it. The best part about it is it came out of a pack that was literally $2. Uh, it was out of the packs, out of the Walmart packs, the double packs. And guys, those are flying off the shelves like crazy. So if you have not gotten your hands on those cards just yet, rush down to your nearest Walmart, go get those packs. Where it is on the street that uh, Pokemon Company is currently out of stock on Darkness Ablaze until they do a reprint. So uh, once these things are off the shelves, uh, we, don't, we don't know when they're going to come back on shelves. So if you haven't got these cards yet, go down to Walmart, go get your hands on those packs. $2 a pack, you can't beat it. Right now, guys, we are going to open up some Hidden Fates. We've got five tins so if you guys could let's hit that like button send me some good positive vibes send me that good luck and hope that we can pull some really good cards out of hidden fates so let's get into it uh we got five tins they all feature raichu so uh i want to talk a little bit more about my previous video because i do have to apologize to you guys uh because i went back and watched it and i can't tell you how many times i face palmed because look I was really excited about getting the new mat. I was very excited about it. Uh, I took my eye off the ball, if you will. Uh, if you guys watched it, uh, face palm with me because a lot of the packs, a lot of the code cards, uh, I went back to my old ways. Uh, I was not showing the actual packs in the camera shot. I uh, was not showing some of the cards. It was a definite fail on my part. I do apologize to you guys about that. Um, but as I continue to do, with every video that I do, I go back and I watch it and I learn from it and I can see what I can do to get better. And as you can kind of see, if you've been paying attention, I raised the upper camera up just a little bit so you can actually get more of the cards in the shot. Uh, you can see a lot more of the playing field here, if you will. The code cards I'm going to set right here in the top right hand corner because I don't want you guys to miss that. I did correct it by... Um, you know, I, I typed in the code cards while I was editing, but uh, it, this is something that I want to get better at every single day. Scyther, Caterpie. So I went back and I watched the video and I said, okay, do I post it? Voltorb Reverse Hollow, Blaine's Last Stand is our first rare. I went back and I watched it and I asked myself, do I post it? Because I was very, very upset with myself. Uh, it's definitely something that I want to be good at. But I said to myself, look, post it, just do it, post it, edit the code cards into it, and just next time you just got to be better with it. So uh, I promise you guys I will be uh, a lot better moving forward. Psychic Energy, pack number two for Hidden Fates, Metapod, Charmeleon, Magmar, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Reverse Hollow, Staryu, and a Holographic Zapdos is our first holographic of today's video. I'm actually going to go ahead and put the reverse hollows and the hollows in their uh, sleeves. So again, guys, look, I I'm going to I'm going to get better at it. It's it's going to happen. It's something that I want to get better at. Uh, the Rhyperior V was an awesome pull, uh, and I really facepalm because I tried to show you guys, 
and it was like halfway in the shot. So I definitely have to get better at it, and I will get better at it. So hopefully these little adjustments that I do uh, will help me improve. Uh, fire energy, the pack number three, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Miss Day's Determination, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Brock's Training, Reverse Hollow, Erica's Hospitality. So far, nothing exciting yet out of these packs, but if you have watched my Hidden Fates openings in the past, you do know that sometimes there are tins that are just out of this world. There is one specific tin that I do remember opening where all four packs contained... Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Uh, all four packs contained shinies. And on my quest to complete the Hidden Fate set, guys, we are 27 out of 94 on the shiny vault. We're hoping to get some of those pulls today. Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina Suggestion. We've got the Evolutions that we're after. We've got uh, a few more of the uh, full arts that I have not mentioned, and that's one of them right there, right there, right on cue, a rock rough. The uh, rare is a Kangaskhan, but there is another shiny that I have not pulled yet. A rock rough shiny, and he is a cute little doggy. Right there, number 23 out of 94. That is another hit for the shiny vault. That puts us one step closer to completing the entire quest, one tin down. You guys, we have four more left to go in today's video. I'm also trying to get a little more fast paced in the videos uh, because I just feel like these videos are just kind of dragging on too long. Like I want to open a lot of cards, but I also don't want to take five years doing it. So I'm trying to get better at opening the packs. I'm trying to get better at just being quicker at opening the packs but if you've watched my videos you see that sometimes I do struggle a little bit but that's just that's just me just having to just I just got to get better at it I got to get better at it I want these videos to kind of be a little more fast paced for you guys so that you guys don't fall asleep halfway through the video it definitely helps when the packs are easy to open too so here we go right there uh, these code cards will be in the shot for you guys to use and I really do hope that you guys are taking advantage of those because again, it's another way that I can give back to you guys. Metal Energy, tin number two, pack number one, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Sabrina Suggestion, Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, and we have our first shiny full art, Noivern GX. That is an amazing pull. That is another shiny full art, Kangaskhan was the rare, but right there, you guys, a shiny. Full art, just another one added to the collection that puts us another step closer to completing the Hidden Fates set. I have missed Hidden Fates, you guys, but I have also been trying to really push out that brand new product as it becomes available to you guys. Darkness Ablaze, very, very excited for it. I'm sad to see that they're getting off the shelves. I need to go out, like I said, and get my hands on a few more of the Elite Trainer boxes. I do plan on doing that very shortly. Another code card for you guys to use. I'm going to do this a little differently, I think. I'm going to do this, and then I'm also going to flip those so that the potential shiny is actually in the very back. We're going to try that here and see if it changes anything. Hopefully, we pull something amazing out of this pack. Water Energy, Sabrina's Suggestion, Charmeleon, Jinx, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, we have a Mewtwo GX, and the Reverse Hollow is a Staryu. We did not pull a Shiny out of that pack, but we did pull a Mewtwo GX. I do believe that I have pulled that card. Out of the original Hidden Fates, we are 61 out of 68. Going into this video, there are still a few of the GX cards from the original Hidden Fates that we need to get our hands on. And of course, we are hoping for the shiny Charizard, the shiny Umbreon, the shiny Sylveon, the shiny Glaceon, the shiny Espeon, and several others. We still have a lot of work to do when it comes to this set, but uh, as I've mentioned in the past, I still have a lot of packs to go through. Uh, today you're getting five of the Raichu tins, and then uh, sometime down the road, I do have all those Ultra Ball and Great Ball collections that I will be opening as well. Uh, because hopefully there is a reprint dropping Pikachu. Wait, what was the rare? 
The rare was a Clefable, and the... Okay, I'm going to go back to the way it was because now I'm thrown off. Pikachu, I choose you, is the reverse holo there. Uh, I do have, like I said, the uh, Ultra Ball and Great Ball collections that I do plan on opening. I'm probably going to open those up two at a time. I do like opening up 20 packs at a time. Uh, because again, I think if I open up too many packs, I think the video can kind of drag on. So uh, doing these quicker openings, I think will be better for you guys. So you don't fall asleep in the middle of the channel. There, in the middle of the video, there is the code card. Let's just do four cards back to the back. And we start with the Lightning Energy. This is the last pack of 10 number two. And here we go. Let's see if we can pull something amazing out of this pack. Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, my voice cracked there. Slowpoke, Clefairy, a shiny... Wimpod and the birds. <laughs> the birds. A hyper rare. That is number three on the channel. This is, of course, a duplicate. But if you watch anybody open up Hidden Fates, guys, these cards are everywhere. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I have watched Leon Hart open up at least six of those birds packs it's so hilarious Wimpod, i'm not sure if i have this card or not but the ticker will change if i don't uh so that's another amazing shiny pool right there for Wimpod, and uh the birds we're actually going to keep the birds up there why not just because it is a hyper rare i do uh, love the hyper rare i like the artworks the color scheme the rainbowness that concludes 10 number two. You guys, we are on to 10 number three. Let's see what pulls we can get out of this 10. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we can nab ourselves another evolution or maybe even the shiny Charizard. There's the code cards. Code cards, you guys, if you have not paid attention to my videos, they just go straight to the book uh, because they just need to be flattened out. And uh, I'm, I'm still ashamed of those cards. Although, I, like I said before, I have been able to get those cards nice and flattened. Here we go. Pack number one, ten, number three. And I think this is where the packs maybe start to get a little difficult for me to open. But never fret. Because I am prepared. I'm actually due to be at work in just a couple hours. So I thought that I'd go ahead and knock this video out before work. Because I am really starting to realize that after I get off a long shift at work, I just don't have the energy to do a video because I want these videos to have some sort of energy to them. I don't want to just sit here and be in a daze the entire time. Cubone, full torb, Geodude. <laughs> hey, look, that guy is right there. That is number three of the full art shiny Mewtwo's. Got a Zapdos holographic to finish it off. I am just having the best luck, you guys, with the shiny Mewtwo's. That is number three pulled on the channel. You can't go wrong with shiny Mewtwo because that I think that card is worth about $60. So definitely, absolutely not disappointed with that at all. That is Mewtwo number three. Right there, I may have to see if I can possibly do a trade with somebody because I, you know, I, I do a shiny Mewtwo is still it's a great card, but that's my third one now on the channel. I guy, I really do hope that these cards. I th I did some practice videos uh, before recording this officially, so um, I feel like we're going to be in better position today than the last video I did. Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Voltorb, Pikachu. Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, Reverse Hollow Scyther, another Kangaskhan. I think that is our fifth Kangaskhan that we have pulled out of today's video. So when it comes to Kangaskhan, we're doing really good. We're also doing really good when it comes to Shiny Mewtwo. There it is right there. One more shot for you guys. That is, my, again, that's my third Shiny Mewtwo that we pulled. Guys, we are up to two shiny full arts we have two more packs left in this tin we are halfway through today's opening just doing a very quick very simple hidden fates opening for you guys because i do have uh, about a month before reaching my goal of going through all this product before a potential reprint hits the shelves and i really want to get this set completed it's a, such an amazing set here we go water energy far-fetched brock's grit Misty Cerulean City Gym, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, I Choose You, Ekans, 
a full art grass energy and guys another full art giovanni's exile i also believe that this is pull number three for that card we're going to set that right there for you guys to see uh, and i hope you guys are enjoying the new mat because I, as i said in my last video i do love it Another reason why I adjusted the camera angle is so you guys can actually see even more of the playing field. And then this way, I have a better, a better chance of getting all the cards in the shots for you guys. Uh, I, I can't tell you guys how much I facepalmed after watching my previous video. But, you know, you live and learn. And one thing that I definitely want to do on this channel is I want to learn. I want to learn to do videos better. I want to learn to present these better for you guys. So the only way that you are going to learn that I'm going to learn is just by doing it and posting it and letting you guys see it. Brock's Grit, Charmander, if you guys cannot handle me on my worst day, then you don't deserve me on my best day. I think as the saying goes. Koga's Trap is a reverse holographic and we've got Mr. Mime, the non-holographic. Another reason why I love this set so much is because you essentially have two chances to get a holographic or full art and not just the one. So it's not necessarily a complete loss when you pull a non-holographic because as you've seen, we are up to two full art shinies. We've got one hyper rare pull. We've also got a couple of other full arts. Well, one other full art. Giovanni's Exile. We've got the energy. We've got Rock Ruff sitting over there in the top corner. Just hanging out next to Neuvern GX. I do like the Neuvern GX. Uh, I always thought that his ears were his eyes. So just a little uh, FF for you guys. A little fun fact for you. So uh, definitely. De guys, I'm definitely excited for more of the Darkness of Blaze openings in the future. Um, I definitely, I'm going to go out and get more product. Uh, it's definitely uh, a really amazing set. And also, I want to open as much as I can before Champion's Path comes out next month. Because uh, Champion's Path, I'm, I'm understanding. I did a little bit more reading on it today. Champion's Path is looking like it's going to be a very fun set. It's the quote-unquote holiday set for this year, just like Hidden Fates was for last year. But I have to be honest with you guys. I don't think that there's ever going to be a set like this set. Hidden Fates is just completely off the charts. I don't know how they can top it. Apparently, they think they can. A shiny Scyther, Pikachu, I choose you, and a shiny Scyther right there. I don't think I've pulled that one yet either. Non-holographic of the Mew. See, it's not so bad when I pull non-holographics out of this pack when a shiny Scyther is what I pull out of the pack. That is another shiny slash full art slash hyper rare slash trainer slash energy slash hit i just put those in the wrong stack you guys go there all right we are on our way to finishing today's video if you guys could take a moment and smash that like button if you guys haven't um, i greatly appreciate it it shows me a lot of support and i love it let's see what kind of pull we can get out of this pack we have the metal energy sabrina's suggestion scyther Charmeleon, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, I Choose You, Clefairy, Cubone, Brox, Pewter City Gym is the Reverse Hollow, and the Arbok is the Rare right there. Another pack in the books. Two more packs left in this tin before we finish the video off with our last Raichu tin. After today's opening, I will be down to four tins, two boxes, and of course the seven total of the Great Ball slash Ultra Ball collection. I will be opening this up uh, very soon in the future. Uh, probably the next video that I do will probably be a mixture of all the cards that I've opened recently. The Unbroken Bonds, the Burning Shadows, throw some Sword and Shield in there. It'll be a lot of just mixtures. It won't be just one pack that I'll be opening, one set that I'll be opening. Geodude, a Fairy Energy, is the next card that we pull. And I don't know that I have pulled a Fairy Energy full art just yet. That might be the last of the energies that I need. I do like the full art energies. Uh, because again, back in the day when Pokemon first came out, energies were really not that big of a deal. But I do like that they've kind of spiced them up a little bit by adding the full artness to it. And plus they just look absolutely amazing. So you cannot go wrong with them. 
So as I said, in the future, I will probably do videos that feature more than one set. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a little bit of Unbroken Bonds, Burning Shadows, Sword and Shield, and Hidden Fates. Uh, so I, I just, I'm just thinking about all kinds of different ways that I can do openings. Um, but obviously, you know, we'll get there when we get there. Psyduck, Clefairy, Magikarp. Today it's all about Hidden Fates. Ekans, Reverse Hollow is a Vorion and a Holographic Zapdos to finish off that tin. Guys, we have one more tin to open in today's video. And here's hoping that we can pull another shiny full art that we have not pulled yet on the channel. We have pulled the full art Neuvern that we have not received yet. And we did pull shiny Scyther and we did pull Rockruff. So I, from what I can see, I think I've gained at least three more of the shiny vault. I don't know that we've pulled any more of the regular Hidden Fates. I think we're still sitting at 61 out of 68. But as I've mentioned before, I think I have a really good chance of finishing that set. It's the shiny vault because you only get one per pack, uh, one chance per pack, uh, whereas with regular hidden, I mean, I guess with, I'm probably down to just the rares on the regular Hidden Fates too, so I guess that kind of qualifies for both of them. Um, I have not pulled, let's see, I think it's the Charizard GX I have not pulled yet, the Raichu GX I have not pulled yet, and the Gyarados GX, not the promo cards, but the actual card that's in the set. They have two versions of the Charizard Full Art, and they have two versions of the Raichu, and two versions of the Gyarados. So uh, we definitely need those to complete that set as well. Uh, but I'm more worried about uh, doing the Shiny Vault, because that's where, you know, that that's, I mean, let's face it. I mean, you can complete Hidden Fates all day, but the Shiny Vault is where the bragging rights come into place. Here we go, last 10 first pack, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, a Reverse Hollow, Zapdos, and Erica's Hospitality is the final card in that pack. We have three packs left. Can we pull one of the Evolutions? Can we pull the Shiny Charizard out of any one of these packs? That would be absolutely amazing if we can do it. There's the code card for you guys. I do give a give a thumbs up if every single one of those code cards has been in the video today, because that'll let me know that I'm actually improving. Of course, I'll look at it whenever the video is over, and I'll be able to tell for myself whether or not it is. I do hope it is. Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Reverse Hollow, Voltorb, and a Hollow, <laughs> Hollow, a rare Bills analysis. So here we go, guys. Last two packs of today's video guys join the conversation down below and let me know what your guys's favorite pull of darkness ablaze has been so far of mine i've only done two videos so you really don't have a lot to go by um, but there will be plenty more videos in the future i also plan on talking about more about pokemon go in the future as i did a little bit more reading on that today as well they talked a little bit about how mega evolution is going to work and I'm a little iffy about it, but we'll talk about that in a future video. Lieutenant Surge's strategy, Miss Day's determination, Pokemon Center Lady, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Reverse Hollow, Staryu, and a rare of the Snorlax. All right, it comes down to this, you guys. We have one last pack to open today. It's a last pack magic, and I think it's fate. Charizard is the art cover. Let's see if this last pack can feature the one card in this set that I really want to pull. I want to pull them all, but I feel like it would just be off the charts, off the chisel, if we can pull that shiny Charizard. Let's go. Last pack magic. Here we go with the Grass Energy, Chansey, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee. This is it. No, this is not it. This is it right here. Ekans. Hey, it's close. It's a shiny Charmander and another Kangaskhan, which is, I think, my seventh one today. But right there for you guys, a Charmander shiny. That's the first evolution that we're going for. We still need Charmeleon and, of course, the Charizard. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's today's video. Guys, tune into the future. We will have more openings for you guys in the future. And as always, my name is Shway. And I will see you before I go.
Check out my Instagram, do 2 shui Look me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash 84 Thank you so much for tuning in. One more time, just for good measure, my name is Shui, and of course, I will see you all in my next video.